Okay, my name is Ronald Smith, Ronald Lewis Smith II. Um, born and raised in Louisiana, but I live here in Mounds, Oklahoma. And I served in the Navy from 1990 to 1993. Whenever I first tried to go in, you know, I found it very hard. I had a learning dis disability and everything from school, and but that didn't stop me from joining. I had like four years Army ROTC, and it made me want to join even more. Uh, since I had four years Army ROTC, and I had honor unit with distinction, rifle team, and commander's award of excellence four years in a row while I was in ROTC. Anyway, I trained a uh, drill team unit to do silent drill expeditions for whenever they have like their banquets and their balls and stuff like that for Job Corps. And they had a presidential uh, banquet, basically. Mrs. Bush came by and inspected Job Corps centers and they had a big fancy thing and we did a little silent drill team. Uh, thing for her and well they didn't inform us that they had an extra roll of chairs and uh, we did a maneuver called the Queen Anne. It's basically you go from right shoulder to arm, you toss the rifle up in the air and it spins and you come down and you drop down to one knee with a salute on the rifle. Well there wasn't enough room for, uh, for us to do it outward so we threw it straight up in the air and everything for the rifle to spin and we came straight down a little bit tighter and it kind of missed her by about that far. So uh, the Secret Service didn't like it very much, but we stayed quiet. We recovered from it, marched right on off, and she was impressed. And she sat down and met with each of us, asked us what would we like to do when we uh, got out of job corps. And I told her I always dreamed about serving in, in the military. And she asked me which branch I enjoyed most. I told her I, I liked the Navy. and. Uh, she said, all right, and then whenever I went home for Easter, uh, I got a call from Navy recruiter saying I got a 52-point uh, waiver, residential waiver. I could go into any branch I wanted and everything. I said, cool. So I picked the Navy. While I was aboard the USS Forrestal, and uh, I was on her warrant with her very last deployment before she got decommissioned. What a lot of uh, people in the U.S. take for granted is how our freedoms and they think we have the same rights and freedoms, freedoms there in which we don't. The reason why we fought in the wars is so they could have some, some taste of the freedom. I'll do it again in a heartbeat.